Now all we got to do is mount the ESC battery. Huh. I don't even know where I put the ESC. Sometimes it's pretty difficult to find stuff. Oh, here it is. So I went with the Axio AX64, whatever that one is. I think it's AX6. Yeah, the AE6. We should be able to mount it inside here so that the switch is right there. Or we can mount it right here. I don't know. <clears throat> and the battery can slide in here. That's something to think about. Because it will go in here. Actually fits quite well inside here. We'll have to reroute the wires a little bit, but not much. And then you can get to the switch right here. And then the battery can lay right in here. Run the antenna out the back, put a little tube on here a little flag on it, it will look good. So we need to run the wires up through the front holes, I think. I don't know. We've got to find out where we're going to put that battery. Yeah, that battery will fit right there. Just like that. That's very cool. Very cool. Looks like it'll all come together nicely. We'll put that back there. The battery fits right in there. And there you go. You have a 124th scale rock bouncer. So again, in Jorah's frame chassis even works well where it's at. I'm going to wish that I hadn't put those wires up there. Learn as you go. Learn as you go. If you ever build a second one, I will know better than to put the wires up through the battery mount or the mounting plate. Everything is trial and error. Hopefully not too many errors. Okay, there's a place right down in here where I should have run the um, ESC cable through. There's a... Okay. So battery, ESC, combo, And we gotta rewrite it, rerun this wire. Okay. Definitely have to get that yellow sticker off of that battery and just make it completely black. 
cosmetics we can do later. But it all fits in there. Nice. Okay. So now we have our 24th scale. 124th scale. Rock bouncer complete. Motor, ESC, battery. Everything is in it. All we have to do now is bind up the control and see if it actually runs. <laughs> Always the fun part. For me, the fun part is building them. I'm not much for driving them. I mean, I like the fact that they drive, don't get me wrong, but as far as actually going out and driving them, I think it's more fun for me to actually build them, design them, build them, and then have a finished product and go, yeah, I made that. Okay, so let's take a look at our rock bouncer. I do like it. I do like it. Put all the extra parts away. I started out by telling you guys how much parts cost and total par parts build and the total amount, but kind of in the middle of all that mess, I forgot to do it. So I'm going to have another video where I tell you the cost of all the parts, total cost of the build and at the time that I built it you got to remember that it's going to be different prices different times because prices are all over the map right now for stuff as I'm sure you all are aware okay so we have our gladiator our 124th scale trailer and our rock bouncer on our trailer. Not bad, not bad. As you can see, that it's very, very cool. That's going to be the setup, guys. Thanks for watching. We will see you again on the next video. Have a good day.